Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Robin and this is Notting Hook Crochet. And today I'm going to do something a little different for me. I'm going to do a product review. I was watching another channel and they were talking about the Bella Coco Athena hook set. And they had very nice things to say about it. So I'm like, I have been on this search for a decent hook that will help the achingness in my hands. And I said, well, let me give it a try. First, I'd like to compliment them on how fast the set got here from the UK all the way to Florida. I mean, it barely took a week. Now, if I was shipping from Florida to the UK, they'd stick that on a slow boat from China and it would take forever to get there. So, first, it comes in this nice cream-colored case and it has their Bella Coco logo on it. It's a zipper case and it comes with a set of eight from 3.0 millimeter up to 6.5 millimeter. Um, this one's a 6.5. It's got a unique shaped handle on it. You can see it's got like little indentations here for your fingers to like how you hold it like that or your a place for your thumb to go, you know, depending on how you hold your hook. Me, I choke my hook, so it's probably still not like quite there for me, but it's the closest I've found in a better quality hook. Each one is printed with the size, which will more than likely wear off, so maybe put a coat of clear nail polish on that to protect the, the size marking. And it is similar in the shape to this one that I have, I purchased off of Amazon. This is the style that I usually like to use, you know, the Susan Bates style. And this was another set that I ordered because I'm thinking, you know, the thicker handle is going to help my hands not hurt so much. Well, since I like to choke my crochet hook, this one actually fits my hand the best because of where the hold part is which it's very close to this one. This one's like super long. So when I'm holding it, my hand is, you know, way up. This, I'm way up on it. Like, what's the point? So it is very comfortable. It's a very pretty color. It's nice and smooth. It glide, the yarn glides because I'm impatient. I had to test it out. So I used the 5.5 millimeter hook and some I Love This yarn from Hobby Lobby and crocheted this cute little hat. The nice pom pom. And I, I did it in one setting, the, the band, and then this part, which this part, I actually uh, pulled it out a couple of times because the stitch that I wanted to use, it just wasn't working out right for me. And I think it's because of the type of yarn. Using the variegated yarn just didn't look good with the stitch I wanted to use. You couldn't see the stitch. I was like, what's the point of all this work if you can't see the work? So anyhow, I used the 5.5. I did it in one setting. 
And today my hands actually feel pretty good. They're not achy like they have been with some of the others. So this, this might be a good fit for me. Only time will tell on that. But I did like how it performed using it. Um, I'm not really quite sure what to say. So all of these that I that I have here, they are all 6.5 millimeter. Okay, this is a little bit longer than this. Definitely more of a comfort grip than this. The distance between where your thumb goes and the hook is pretty close. So that's a plus for me. When you compare to this one from where your thumb goes, this one's got a pretty long shaft and this part is not as long. So like this, this really fits your hand well if you have large hands like I do. This is a little short, but I don't care for that long shaft. This is definitely too thin and my hands ache after I use it. These wooden ones, which I had a lot of hope for. Um, yeah, from here to here, that's a decent length, but this bulb needs to be way up there. So, like when I, I've noticed when I tried these out, my hand just worked its way up and I'm holding it way up here. So it didn't work well for me. But this so far, with my one project, and doing it all in one sitting, it did well. So for now, I think I'd have to give them five out of five stars. Subject to change, we'll see, like I said, only time will tell is if this is gonna help the achiness in my hand. But it was a decent price, I think in um, U.S. dollar versus the the euro, it was, I, I want to say it was like $50 for the set, somewhere around there, with shipping. Uh, the last report I just saw, though, is the U.K. and the dollar are equal, so you might get a better deal on them if you ordered them now. But, uh, yeah, we'll give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Subject to change, depending on how my hands ache. Oh, I guess I could show you how it the yarn just glides through. So this is the same yarn that I used on my hat. And I think it did just fine. It pulled through quite nice. Just slides right on up down the shaft, it doesn't stick. The yarn's not hanging up. Now, of course, this is the only type of yarn I've tried on it, but it's just gliding right across. I have no problem getting into my stitches. This is the 5.5 the millimeter hook. It's not hanging up, it's not splitting as I'm poking it through. It's not as, pointy as that is, but it's working just fine for me. Okay, I've got a couple more here and then we'll turn and try a double crochet and see how that goes. Okay, good chain. You can see how I kind of choke up the hook. So if I hold it like I'm supposed to, 
I have to slow down or I will drop all my stitches because, you know, we all develop our own technique and, you know, that it's what sticks with you over the years. Okay. So, yeah, it glides across the yarn real well. This has a nice smooth texture. It really does feel good holding it. So, I don't know the young lady's name that has Bella Coco, but thank you. Hopefully these, these serve me well. And we will... Talk to everyone in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It's all free. And uh, yeah, next time. Later.